Um, this is lesson 19, problem set. And what did you learn in Zern? First, let's start with that. Um, I learned that about like kind of the same thing as always, and that kind of the same thing as yesterday. Yesterday's. Okay, so it's kind um, of reviewing here. skills, putting here. fractions on the number line, and comparing fractions. Yeah. Okay. All right. So it says divide each number line into the given fractional unit. Underline that. Underline fractional unit so we know what we're doing. That tells me the denominator. The denominator is your fractional unit. Then place the fractions. Write each whole number as a fraction. So easy peasy for this one. What's the fractional unit for A? Halves. Halves. So between every whole unit, one whole, two, and three, we're going to divide it into halves. Go ahead. See those two equal parts between each whole unit? Let's yep. count them and make sure. One, two, one, two, one, two. All right, let's go ahead and label the first whole unit, which is? Zero halves. Zero halves. We're going to write a little neater than that. <laughs> uh -huh. Okay, keep going. That? Mm-hmm. Okay. One half. Mm-hmm. And one whole would be? Two halves. Two halves. Now, let's not write too big, Mikey, because you don't want to go into the next number line down the bottom there. All right, the next tick mark is your third tick mark, which means it's? Three halves. Three halves, which is greater than one. And then two holes is? Um, four halves. Four halves. Okay, then we've got? Five halves. Five halves. And finally? The third hole is six halves. Oh, oh. Yeah, we don't wanna do that. That's confusing, we don't need a, there we go. So, Six halves is the same as three holes because three groups of two is six. Yep. Okay. All right. Now, then it says just plot the lines. So go ahead and plot three halves. Where is that? Just put a, put a dot. Let's just put a plot. Plot point. There we go. There's right that there. one. Five halves. Five halves. And four there. halves. And four halves. Very good. Okay, which one is least? That one. What fraction? Three, three halves. And then which one is the greatest in that group of fractions? Five halves. Five halves. Okay, now this next one is fourths. And you're going to notice here, hold on. You're going to notice that the number line is between zero and three. And there are no tick marks in between. So what's the first thing you need to label between zero and three? One and two. Your whole number. So go ahead and do that. You're going to notice that Mikey uses the ones above just to keep it accurate. So he's going to label that one, one, the next one, two, and then the third is there for him. Now, these are what fractional units? Um, Holes and fourths. Those are fourths. fourths. So what are you going to break apart into each? Each whole unit will have how many equal parts in it? Four. Four equal parts. Okay, go ahead and break them up. Now, I always start in the middle and break them up after that for fourths. Because any even number, you can always start in the middle. Because our eyes are really good at pointing out a center point, usually. We're used to that. Now, Mikey is going to find all of these fourths here. So, why don't we just start by finding nine fourths? Nine fourths, four fourths, eight fourths, nine fourths. All right. No, Mikey, how did you know two was eight fourths right away? Go ahead and write your nine fourths. Go ahead and write it. Two groups of four is eight. Why don't you do it below? That way you're not confused with this one. Why don't you do it below? Okay. So write nine fourths. And how did you jump to... Go ahead. Uh, uh, nine fourths. How did you know that two was eight fourths right away, even without counting? Um, Because... Um, two groups of four equals eight. That's right. So we have four fourths and another four fourths, and then one more is nine fourths. Let's go ahead and find 11 fourths. You already know where nine fourths is. Nine, 10, 11, right here. Mm -hmm. 
it's kind of easy because that's 12. You just go back one. Yeah, you know that 12 fourths is 3 because we know 4 times 3 is 12. Yeah. All of our facts work together here. All right, and then the last one is 6 fourths. Now, I could probably start at 1 because that's 4 fourths. So, 5, five fourths six. and 6 fourths. Good. Very good. Now, you're going to notice this next one has very high numerators. And the reason that is, is because our unit is now eighths, which means that there's going to be more equal parts between each whole number. So Mikey's going to start by labeling the whole units. The, the number line is between zero and three. So we have to start by labeling our whole units and then breaking up into equal size parts. Okay. All right, start by labeling your, uh oh, nope, we're gonna label our whole units first. Oh, yeah. Zero, one, one two, two, and three. Now, in between each one, we're now gonna have how many equal parts? Um, eight. Good, so Mikey's gonna start with four equal parts and then just simply, oh, I'm, I'm why you, I'm, yeah, I'm right there. they wanna be equal, good. So now we have four equal parts. How do we turn fourths into eighths? Just double up. Now you have eight equal parts. That's between zero and one now. Now he's gonna do the same exact thing between one and two. Start with fourths and then double up. Good. All right now he could probably quickly do the next one now that he's probably pretty good at doing eighths. Halves, fourths, and eighths. Break them up. All right, now he could count these out, one, two, three, four, five, and get all the way to 24, but he mm. also knows that 24 divided by eight is three. So 24 eighths is the same as three. Now, if he counts these, they're all going to be 24 eighths. So you have two options here. Let's take a look at this one. Can you do 19 divided by 8 or anything times no. 8 to get? No, you can't. So you might but have to this count. this is 16, which is that one. So I'll, I'll just do that real quick, too. Oh, okay. So he knows 16 eighths is 2 because he, know two, he knows 2 times 8 is 16. Very good. And, and now he can do 3 more. Yeah. 1, right. 2, 3. There you go. All right, now these ones below should be pretty simple unless you get to ones like this where they have different denominators. If you need to use the number line, compare your eighths to your halves. So I'm gonna find 16 eighths here, which I found, and I'm gonna compare it to my three halves. What do you notice? Which one is bigger on the number line, Mikey? 16 eighths or three halves? 16 eighths. There you go. So all I do is open up that symbol to the 16 eighths. All right, tell everybody they can do it. You can do it. Have a great day. Have a great day. Catch up on Zern. Catch up on Zern. <laughs> Peace. Peace. Bye.